All right. Back, and I think I fixed the weird ass screen tearing shit going on. I think. <sighs> now, up some of these towers, you will find those uh, octopus men, but they are black phantoms. I believe I mentioned that in another video. Um, be careful with them. Now, we're still rocking this uh, longsword, dragon longsword plus two. Uh, so we haven't really upgraded anything. Yeah, going up up here. Uh, let's go ahead and get this guy to come down. I think just about all of these uh, gargoyle creature, winged beast, or whatever the hell you call them, uh, I think they all drop the... Uh, what do you call the soul of the unknown hero or whatever the fuck I think there's also a chance to get those swords that they have Remind yourself, you are on these narrow pathways, so please be careful. item over there. Remember to go and get that. And be careful here. Ooh, that was close. Flambert! Alright! Yeah! I don't think it's as strong as our dragon sword here, but... Let's go ahead and take a look. Yeah, it's not as strong. We're down to 111. Named for the way it resembles a flame, the blade is made for rendering flesh, causing severe bleeding. It is particularly known for its ability to cause fatal wounds. Pretty cool. We shall hold on to the dragon sword, though, because it does that extra fire damage for us. Uh, this leads to a boss, and I see one of those gargoyles is actually... Yeah, there's that. There's the boss up there. Alright, let's make our way back. And see if we can grab that item right there that we uh we missed.
I get to that again? I don't want to just walk off the edge. Maybe I can just walk off. Rune shield, rune sword. What do you fucking know? All right. An exquisitely crafted golden sword. Its physical attack power is negligible, but it is enchanted with a powerful with powerful spells and protects its wielder from magic. It is a legendary hero's weapon that forms a matching set with the rune shield. Uh, requires eighteen. What is that? Is that magic? Do I have eighteen? No, I have 10. That's magic. Okay. Yeah, so we can't use it. I think the shield is the same. Uh, strong enchanted. Strongly enchanted when magic protects users from magical attacks. This shield, where did I hear who used it? Matching set of rune. And yeah, it requires 18. Yeah, we can't go that way. Let's go see if we can take on this boss. By the way, the weapons that these guys are using, I think they're spiral swords, spiral fencing swords or something like that. Which I think has been debated that those swords ends up what becomes the sword that they use in uh for the fire links in uh the Dark Soul series from the Demon Soul games. All right, so we got two of them. We got one that's flapping up there, and then we got this one right here. Yep, and he dies. That's what I meant. Oh shit, he didn't die. Usually whenever that happens, they freaking die. They just fall to the bottom. Now again, if you want to collect that soul of the uh, unknown hero, you gotta let them land. So you can grab it from them.
Oh, there's two. Oh, okay. Activate that so that you can walk around and grab that item. I mean, the only other way would have been right here. Old spice. Okay, that's right. The boss is not in this uh, tower. I was like, wait a minute. I, I thought I was supposed to be inside or indoors. Yeah, before facing the big boss, uh, you're supposed to fe uh, face the man eaters or something like that. Man-eater boss, that's a pretty tough boss, because you get in, you get attacked by two of them. Not at the same time, but, at ve but eventually it will be simultaneous. They will show up fighting you together. It's just, they start off one at a time. And uh, one of them, you can damage more than the other because it will have a tail, but once you sever the tail, it'll be just like the other one. Get rid of these guys. You need the chains to be destroyed. Once that weird creature thing doesn't have any more of these chains defending him, it will drop and pretty much die, but it is not quite alive or as dead as you think. By the way, note those uh, stones over there. That's where we're going to find Yurt the Silent Chief.
Um, so you can drop down over here to go to you're at the silent chief there or you can take these to go to the area that you want or need to go next I think let's go and Now, I'm not quite sure why these little adjugates of uh, stone lights, whatever you call these things, are on the floor leading to his cage. We do have dead bodies here. We have a knight's body. We have a, I don't know, some random guy's body. And then Yurt's in a cage. Are you here to fight the demons? If so... Then help me escape this place. I am on your side. I have come to face the demons. They made it so that he'll walk right through you because otherwise he counted as an actual person that can push you. You'd fall off the edge and they were like, we're not going to do that. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk to him and he'll say something like, thanks for letting me go and I promise I'll pay you back. Ha 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 or something like that. Thank you. I will remember this. I am certain we will meet again. I will remember this. I am certain we will meet again. So, yeah, but let's go ahead and kill him. Well, what are we here? Do you wish to die so soon? Yep. Well, what have we here? Do you wish to die so soon? Yeah. Why you? gonna do this Black iron helmet worn by Yurt, the Silent Chief. The two horns on the headpiece are its chief characteristics. Portion of complete armor set, which has extremely high level of adhesion. The black iron robes the wearer of his or her body heat, causing them to shiver and breathe out cold air. The fuck did I do? A portion of complete armor set, which has high level of adhesion. The black iron robe. The Black Iron robs, not robes. Uh, the Black Iron robs the wearer of his or her body's heat, causing them to shiver and breathe out cold air. Okay, all right. That's what it was, so. Uh, 13, 17. You got higher resistances.
Now, what happens if I take this ring off? And you can't take this later. Too much burden. Ah, uh, they got me good with that one. Alright, am I able to then take this off and put that on? I am. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you get mercury stones off of these cretins. I believe there's a ring around here you could pick up. I don't remember what the ring is. Is that the ring? Recover a little MP at a time. That's pretty good.
Look at this little tiny one. Where does this one take me? Is this the same one that I came down on? Because I saw another one over there that... Yeah, I think this is the same one. Oh, uh, no, it's not. He's guarding something. I hate how he gets a good direct shot on me with that shit. Hello again. I'm
You have a heart of God. Let me think. Because what I don't like is that I have fucking died quite a distance away. And I gotta go through all that bullshit again. Just to pick up my freaking souls. God, man, I fucking... Have a heart of gold.
And again, down that way is just a bunch of uh, uh, salamanders or whatever.
Now I think back here, that is uh, God's hand, or hands, or whatever. It's very well protected. You can try running through, but uh it's not gonna it's not gonna end well. But it is very well protected over there. Because of these guys uh fucking attack. Yeah, see. It's a it's a fist weapon though, so I mean, whatever. Now for this boss, uh, shh, very annoying. There is a spot that you can kind of cheese. There's a spot you can kind of cheese. Uh, I don't quite remember where it was. I know it's one of these bone pillar areas that are, that's like a cave. He'll get stuck at some spot. And then you can just nail him from there. Uh, it doesn't work all the time. And the thing with this boss is the more health he loses, the angrier he gets and the stronger he gets kind of deal. Oh, man. And he jumps all over the freaking place. It's like these places, you need to go to these areas, he'll get stuck in them. And that didn't work out for me. I'm trying to remember where the hell it was that I went, that he got stuck at. Let's see. Where 
where the hell was it? I know he got stuck somewhere. And it was like, you could just cheese it the entire time. Where the fuck was it that he got stuck at? I'm trying to remember. Because he would just literally walk in place. And you were able to get free shots on him. Oh, I think it's right here. Yeah, you see that? He just does that. You gotta be careful, though. It was like right there. Yeah, there. Yep, right there. That's basically what you're looking for. It'll take a while. It'll take a while, but this is kind of what you want if you want it to be easy as uh, in a uh, melee class. Pretty much right there. Now, there is a chance that he can get out of this. There is a chance he can get out of this. You don't want that to happen. You need him to come back down there. You also don't want that to happen. Because now you got to get him out of it.
anytime you see him jumping over there like that, just take a few steps to the left so that he starts taking his steps to the right to try and uh, match you. And then you just do this. Again, this will take a while, but if you want it to be relatively easy without worrying about possibly dying due to his rage, then just do this. Get him trapped back there. Careful not to go too far to the left, because he can break through this. And I don't mean break through like he can actually break it, like break the, the little cage that he's essentially in. No, he could basically break through the glitch, or not really the glitch, but like whatever's holding him, he could just bust through it if you're too far to the left, because then there's an opening for him. So you just want him in the right spot. Again, whenever he jumps back like that, make sure you come to the left so that he tries to track uh, over over towards you. As you can see, he's getting a little bit madder. He's getting a little bit faster. His fire is starting to get larger. Careful with those swings that he does, because some of those can get him out of uh, this this place that he's in. Let him reset himself and come come to the left. He'll come back around and boom, and then just try again. Those ones, those swings right there. You got to be careful with those. Easy there.
It takes a while to beat him like this, but it's it's definitely a lot better than him running around, you running around. I mean, like, there are other ways to beat him. There are guides how to beat him, but this is one of the ones that I figured out myself. I found it out by accident, because I like when I jumped in here, I was like, oh, a well, boss, okay. Let's see if I can study his patterns and whatnot. I couldn't do it, because this dude is always running at you, is always jumping all over the place, and he gets stronger the more you hurt him. So I was like, what the hell is this crap? How do, what do I do? Like, I was like freaking out. Because I kept dying to this guy. I kept losing souls. I was like, what the hell is this? What do I do? Eventually, I ran over here and I was like, I need something to defend me. And I found this place by accident because I ran around this uh, set of bones. And then I was like, hey, he, he's stuck. And sure enough, I, I found like how stuck he is, how I can get away with it, and just this is what you got to do. Just, you know, nibble at him every, every little bit. You know, it's basically a death of a thousand cuts kind of deal, you know? Because uh, a death is still a death, regardless if it's a thousand cuts or one cut. You get back right over there where you belong. Careful with those jumps, too. He'll sometimes jump way to the left, and it's like, oh, fuck. If he does that, just trap him back in here again. And now he's harder to see. Essentially, he's just burning himself up. Alright, good. He didn't do it. Cool. Uh-oh. Okay, good.
and that's how you get rid of the frame worker without too much trouble. Uh, again, I do 100% take credit for that. I figured that one out all on my own. I didn't need anything online to tell me that because anything online with Skytes had to kill him, whether you're a melee class, uh, mage class, archer class, you name it. This I found on accident. I literally was running around scared as shit and then that's when I was that's when I found like these things these little uh, river pools here you stand in them you get hurt if he walks over them I believe he gets uh, health from these uh, from these things here I was surprised our sword actually did any damage to him because I was like wait this this is a dragon sword uh, it's gonna cause fire damage he's good against fire uh, this isn't gonna work but it actually worked out uh, I didn't want to switch over to the flameberg I was hoping the Flameberg would actually do something for me in this level, but actually it didn't have to. It just This sword is just fine. Um, but I literally was just running around trying to figure out, I need some kind of standoff against this guy. What can I use? And everything I've seen online talking about how to kill him is, oh, if you're a melee, you got to know when to attack him after he does these jumps. And you got, if you're a mage class, it's easier because you just do this and this. If you're an archer class, you have to run around, shoot, shoot, then hide. Something. And I was reading all this, and I was like, but you got to be high level or, or real good at timing and stuff. I need help. I, I'm trying to figure out what I can do. So that's when I started running around. I saw these little, these little uh, bone things here. I thought this place right here was the best. This right here I thought was the best because I was like, oh man, I could just get him at the corner and whatever. But no, he'll just come around and then you basically get stuck in here. So then I was like, all right, this place is a trap. This isn't going to work for me. What can I do? You got all this open space. What can I do? And then I saw this over here. And I remember freaking out with this pillar right here. And that's when uh, he jumped and hit me with that uh, blast attack, and I, I fell back over here in the lava, and I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. I looked over here, I ran in here, and I was like, oh, there's an item, whatever, uh, or a dead body. And I was like, no, this isn't going to be good. So then I ran over here, over the lava, got to about here, and that's when he, sh he started, like, his AI started showing like it was really trying to target me. So then it went around this way. I ran around saying, all right, the ring around the rosy, uh, whatever, right? As soon as I got here, I, I looked back, I saw his uh, AI mapping, like the way it was trying to target me, and I was like, what the? And then that's when I saw him just, like, right there. He was just stuck, just right here, just doing this, just walking at me, and I was like, what? And that's when I attacked, and that's when I realized you could only attack really one at a time. You know, you can either stab him, have your shield out to protect yourself when he does those fire blasts because he will get pissed and he does those fire blasts. And or you can take a risk and do the, the two-handed attack, but he will stay stuck there. Um, there is a way for him to get out, though. That one where he's like, he, he like uh, backs up, backs up, and then he maybe sometimes backs up over here. He can sometimes do that four times. So he'll do one, two, then he'll go left, and then he'll go a large right and he'll just get himself out and then he'll just start running at you. So, there is that. Anyways, we defeated him. Uh, up next is the Dragon God. Uh, and if you had defeated the Vanguard from the very first level like the uh, tutorial uh, if you defeat him you get teleported to this location and you won't even get a chance to face the dragon god the, the dragon god is literally just going to punch you to death and it's just one punch he hits you, you fly back like 100 feet and you die so yeah Anyways, uh, we killed the Flame Lurker. Let's go ahead and I guess let's head back to the Maxis. Lord Rhino. Um, let's 
see. You know what, let's go up here real quick and see if uh, Mephistopheles is up here. see her. She's usually over here. Unless she's over here and I was probably misremembering. What do you have for me? Our demon. Spell from the armor spider soul. From the pure blood. Okay. I owe my it. Huh, excuse me. <clears throat> you have your witch about. Learn a spell. What do you have? Wiggling iron. I am foot. I can. Who takes the red hot demon soul? Oh, you know what? I think it's one of the blacksmiths. I think it's the guy in Stonefang that took. I can fall. Let me see. Well, old Ed's still up to his old strange ways, is he? <laughs> Even the demons <laughs> God must say <save> take <laughs> hmm. We could upgrade the flambug. We bring it up to one ten. It's not really, it's not really worth one that upgrade. Well, it's one ten plus seventeen, so that'll be one twenty seven. Uh, shoot. Repair my equipment. You come back alive. Okay. Uh, Red Hot Demon Soul Flame Lurker. Yeah, I think if you give this to uh, Ed, he will be able to upgrade your weapons with other stuff. I don't know. I could double check. Let me make sure. I'm more than positive that's what it is. Let's find out though. Uh, flame Lurker Soul. Flame Liquor Rewards, Searing Demon Soul.
says Red Hot Demon Soul. Why does it say Searing Demon Soul? In the original game, the item was called Red Hot Demon Soul. It has been renamed with the remake of 2020. Oh, they renamed it, bitches. Okay. Uh, what does this soul do for me, though? The Searing Demon Soul, or the Red Hot Demon Soul, must be given to Blacksmith Ed to enable advanced weapon forging. See, upgrades. Uh, okay. Upgrades. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna upgrade... Uh, da, 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 blacksmith. Gold one. He provides low-level upgrades, hardstone, sharpstones, clear stones. He is located in Stonefang near the arsenal. You need to activate the platform. Uh, blacksmith Ed can upgrade weapons using any stones that you have. You can you can unlock advanced weapons upgrades by bringing him the Searing Demon Soul or the advanced upgrades include colorless Demon Souls and Demon Soul. Okay, uh, three five. Regular upgrades, zero to zero to ten for melee weapons. Four bows and eight shields requires hardstone sharpstones for weapons yields uh, quality upgrades. Uh, for thirty-five melee weapons for crushing upgrades. Dragon upgrades, 1 to 5 for 15, 1 to 5 for tearing, Mercury 1 to 5, 1 to 5, 1 to 5, 1 to 5 for blessed, sticky upgrades, dark upgrades, weapon upgrade charts and demon souls, in order to upgrade your weapons you'll need stones, each stones, blah blah blah, basic upgrades, special upgrades, special upgrades can be performed by using all other stones, all the stones come in 3, Okay. So is it worth giving him the red hot demon soul or do I take it for myself? give it to him, and then we can upgrade our weapons, but shit, I don't, I don't know. I really haven't done anything with the upgrades. Let's see. But, upgrades require red hot demon So a large number of souls when used on can be used spells and miracles.
Uh, I'm not supposed to get close to So I feel so supposed to be true. Uh, and he will uh, require space weapon at the correct level and different boss soul. Upgrade unique war equipment. Go to demon souls. Upgrade such as. Okay, so red hot demon. So I made a terrible mistake. I barreled through a decent portion of the game without paying attention to the importance of boss demon souls, and as such, I consumed everything up to up through the all in poor red hot soul. Sheer stupidity on my part, but what's done is done. My question is given that. I won't be able to forge weapons from Demon Souls until New Game Plus. Should I start over? To give context, I've been playing for 24 hours and have advanced as far as 1-4. Any advice would be met with copious amounts of gratitude. There's not many weapons to forge with Demon Souls anyways, in my honest opinion. I would keep chugging along, and don't worry about it, unless you are a mage. The spells you unlock aren't very useful if you, are, if you have a proper bow. What other worlds have you done? If you've only done Worlds 1 and 2, you haven't missed anything yet with any weapons except the Scraping Spear. Tower Knight gives Warding from Frake. Penetrator gives Light Curse weapon from Frake and Yuria. Uh, Armor Spider gives Fire Spray, Ignite Spells from Frake and Yuria. And Lava Bow, but it sucks. And Dragon's God Soul gives you Fireball, Firestorm, God's Wrath from Yuria, Freak, and Urbane. So just carry on with your game and make Demon Souls weapons in New Game Plus. Just restart your character as long as you're not on New Game Plus. I can burn through 1 1 1 2 1 to 2 1 to about an hour. Technically, he can still upgrade his weapons with Greystone and whatnot. The Red Hot Demon Soul only enables the use of Demon Souls for weapons such as Scraping Spear. Uh, thanks for the catch. Uh, I guess I'm not playing. Fix or ultimately your decision, but keep in mind you can still upgrade all, all you like with hard sharp blade, Mauro Thane, moonlight, etc. Pretty much all the best weapons used the advanced upgrade path to level plus five. That doesn't require the red hot demon soul to be given to Ed, and are excellent for both PVE PVP. And as mentioned above, depending on your character build, you can still utilize LW or CW, what the hell is that, on these weapons. Also depends on the upgrade path of the advanced paths. Only quality crushing sharp weapons can be enchanted. For planning purposes, you might want to take advantage of the Demon Souls weapons damage calculator. All things considered, I agree with Xyrax. Uh, go ahead and soul drawn and leave the, the special demon soul and colors demons weapons upgrade for new games plus uh thanks for all the responses i'm not a mage so it sounds like i'll be okay without the weapons i would get from the souls am i correct in assuming that i'll get another red hot soul if i do new game plus if that's the case i'll soldier on and go for Soul weapons a second time around. If not, I may restart. I'd hate to miss anything. Okay, so. Essentially, I can use this playthrough, and if I'm only doing this playthrough, just for the, the skill points. And then New Game Plus, partial skill points, weapon upgrades. I think... That's how we you can go about it. Right now, it's just making it through. Uh, apparently, there's like screen tearing over there. I don't know. Let's see. Let me think. <coughs> Excuse me. Alrighty, let's just pop this bitch.
25 strength, 14 dexterity, 34 endurance, 18 intelligence. Uh, did I need 26 strength for anything, and did I need dexterity to be higher for anything? Oh, excuse me, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Let me see. I don't have any more dragons. Thank good. I was Let me see. Uh, deposit it real quick. What do I have? Nothing of import. Uh, go ahead and deposit those. We got chunks of dragon stones. Go ahead and deposit that. Shard of Dragonstone, Chunk of Dragonstone. We are indebted to you for you. F what uses the uh, Sucker Stones? What weapons use uh, let's see, Sucker Stone, Stone, Demon Soul? Sucker stone types availability. Uh, Sucker stone compatible with the broadsword. That's so strange. Why would it be with a broadsword, not the regular uh, straight sword? Claws, Pouchin, the Flamberg, Kilji, Pickaxe, Scimitar, Shulful, Uchikatana, Warpick, Warsa. There's not very many great weapons, man. Yeah, let's go grab this shield. Take item. Rune shield? Uh, do you require 22 strength? I think we have that B. Judicator. You, yeah, 26 strength for this shield. But I won't be able to parry. That's the issue. I won't be able to parry. Take. The Ujikatana. Do you require? 8 and 13, 18 and 13, excuse me.
We are indebted to you. Indebted to you. Thank goodness you. I was. We are indebted to you. Seek then soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Okay, so if I do this, I'll be able to wield that shield. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. I just won't be able to parry anymore, though. be able to parry if I have that shield. Although that shield is pretty good. There's also dexterity for the bow because we want to be able to kill that uh, that dragon. I shall await. I am here for thee. Let's go and check out the bows again. Thank. I was. Take item. All right, we have a compound short bow, compound long bow, white bow, heavy cross. Okay, that's all we have. <sighs> Compound short bow requires 18 strength, 10 dexterity. 22 strength, 12 dexterity. 30 strength, 24 dexterity. Jeez. Okay. We are indebted to you. Thou seek then soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. 
Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Hello again, I'm keeping... You have a heart of... Still have the shield from... from the beginning. I can... Um, what was next? The Dragon God, I think. Uh, yeah, so we beat that. We just have the final boss of the game over here, King Allant. Stonefang, we have the Dragon God, and the Shadow Worshipping Men. There's also the Tower of Latria. Uh, the Arsene of the Demon Adjudicator, dead given s the dead, given seals of the hero by the Adjudicator, are taken to the Shadow Men's Shrine to be purified and mourned in the storm. I think we just need to be able to so for the dragon god you just got to be fast enough to hide at certain locations and not get hit by the dragon god because then all you got to do is activate these um these uh, traps for him. Sensation times. A fire demon has been sealed in an underground temple filled with dragon bones. Deeper still lies an even larger dragon skeleton. Yeah, you'll see what I'm talking about.
So they trapped that guy down here. He was able to break through. I think that's kind of weird. I don't know what he was gorging on. But there's the demon god. Now, or the, the dragon god. Now, if he sees you, his eyes will change color. It'll turn red. So you want to hide behind these pillars. And he's got a bunch of eyes. So if even one of them sees you, he'll turn red and he'll do that. And he'll throw a punch or he'll throw some fire. There's nothing you could do. You just got to be able to uh, out, outdo his gaze. All right. Now, there is a special weapon that you can get here, but I think you can only get it in pure white world tendency. I think it's a floor below us on the side over there. Unless it's right over there, but I can't get to it. Because I've died way too many times. Now, for this area right here, you got these pillars that are blocking the way. Either you can destroy them, or he can destroy them. It's kind of tricky, but whatever the case is, you do not want to get hit. Alright, so just do that, and he should throw a fit... Nope, he doesn't. Okay. And the issue is, when he throws his, uh, when he throws his fist down, he will... He'll do that. He'll do that. He'll, he'll fuck some shit up. Run, 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 run. Okay. Now there's another one over there. This one you gotta be careful. He really doesn't want you. Here, activate this. It's one of the traps. You can see his health is down. I don't understand the lore of this uh, dragon god over here. How did he get down here? How did they trap him? They they put these they put these traps for him too. These weapons against them. I don't understand how this dragon let that happen. It's just kind of weird to me. There's a, there's a lot of a lot of questions that I have.
definitely am not getting that dragon sword now. That's the special item that you could get in this level. I think if you don't die at all, uh, but fuck that one up. Yep, now we gotta do the whole thing again.
Alright. Pretty much makes it easier to defeat him. He's going to have a sliver of health left. All you got to do is just go for his chin, and that's it. Uh, do be careful getting too close, because he still breathes out uh, hot heat. Not exactly fire, but he does breathe out a uh, hot dragon's breath, if you will. Um, as you can see, that, that smoke coming out of his uh, mouth, that'll burn you. Master's ring. And there's the dragon sword. Uh, we cannot get to it because we died too too many times. I don't know if there's like a command prompt to like glitch through. I think there is. Um, no, no. Um, this this rubble right here would not be here, and you'd be able to pick that up. And essentially, you would use that sword to really mess him up. Because it's like the Dragon Slayer sword or something like that. Uh, but there is no way for us to get it. And that poor bastard over there freaking got burnt to death. Yeah, see? It burns. Legendary soldier soul. Soldier tried to get up against the dragon god and met with an unfortunate end. Let's just take a look at this place. Look at all this lava. Those weapons were set there, and this dragon was just living down here. Somehow they trapped it in here, or it got in here or something? I, I don't know. It's just very, very odd. Actually, let's head over to Stonefang. Let's talk to Ed. Probably get a chance to kill the salamander. Yep, there's the salamander. Come over here, you rat bastard. Where do you think you're going?
Let it be a black. Okay, we can upgrade this. Build goes 105 to 119. Let's I need more dragon stones and more. Oops. Guard break reduction. What would be the benefit of upgrading the shield? The guard break reduction. Let me check what that is. If that is what I think it is. Demon souls. Guard break. Search. Select. Displays the impact resistance of a weapon or shield when you are blocking attacks. Blocking attacks essentially trades the HP damage for stamina. Displays the impact resistance of a weapon or shield when you are blocking. Also reduces the stamina consumed from blocking. Oh, okay. Cool. So, yeah, let's upgrade this. Because with this shield, I can effectively parry and guard. So... Uh... Let's see, what's the best shield? And shields are a type of shield in Demon Souls and Dark Souls Remake that varies between light and heavy character. Uh, standard shields have a good balance between defense and weight, which is great for situations of combat. Although, may not be as light as a small shield, which is good for agility and parrying. The standard shield works best at reducing damage and blocking. Space covers. Okay, so there's a Dark Silver shield. Guard break reduction. Okay, how much the shield mitigates while blocking? This indicates the amount of stamina that is reduced when a player blocks an attack. A high value of guard grants the player to block strong attacks without breaking their guard, as well as reducing the amount of stamina. A value, durability. 
Yeah, but what's the best? 45, 57 for the Knight's Shield. 55 for the Kite Shield. 65 for the Hoplite Shield. Here, Shield is 53. Alright, so the Hoplite Shield looks like it's pretty good. But is that only in... Yeah, it's only in Demon Souls Remake. Get the fuck out of here. What's the next best one? Dark Silver Shield has... 50 for the reduction. Silver Shield, Standard Shield, Standard Shield, good. The home of Dark Silver Shield. Come on. Dark Silver Shield plus 5 will eventually give a Guard Break Reduction of 65. Decreases... Increases Magic Defense by 10%, decreases Magic Damage by 30%. If I upgrade it to plus 5, increases magic defense by 30%, decreases magic damage by 87%. Uh, let's see, heater shield. Heater shield plus 10 will give me a guard break reduction of 72. Interesting. The... What about the Night Shield? Where's that? Is that only in Remake? Night Shield is in Demon Souls and Demon Souls Remake. Okay. Shield of the Bolitarian Knights, proof of duty using King, using Stone Fangs, Hard and Iron is heavier than stronger. Dropped by the Red Eye Knights in the King's Tower 1 of 4. <sighs> Can be bought by the Dregling Merchant for 20,000 souls. Dropped by Blue Eyed Knight in the Gates of Bolitaria 1 1 and Lord's Path 1 2. Treasure in King's Tower 1-4 after the Blue Dragon changes position. Drop to the base of the Long Staircase to find alongside. Uh, notes and tips. Best shield for blocking physical damage since it has the best guard break reduction out of all the shields that have 100% physical reduction. Really? Yeah. Says it right here. Knight's Shield plus 10. If you upgrade it to that, it has a guard break reduction of 78. Okay. What about the Kite Shield? The one that I have. Second best shield for blocking physical damage, best being the Knight's Shield. Alright, if we get the Kite Shield to plus 10, it'll be 75. So, 78 or 75. Dragonwing Merchant sells. He sells one for 20,000. So, we can either buy one and not deal with that one. Uh, deal with the dragon just yet.
Shield. You know what? Maybe I'd just be content with the kite shield. And it's 75 to 78, right? Is that what I said, or was it 76 to 78? Uh, whatever. We'll just stick with this. This is the shield that we started out with. I think the shield's fine. I like it. It's got a dragon's crest on it. I like dragon. dragons. Dragons are cool. Plus, I was born of the year of the dragon, so... Yeah, let's just do that. And we can't upgrade this, because we need more of the... What do you call it? The dragon shards and chunks and whatnot. Is this? Well, whatever it is, it'll bring my guard reduction down to fifty five. I don't know if I want to deal with that shit, but it'll bring this one up to sixty nine. Thanks. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Um, oh, just short of. Well, we brought it up to a plus eight. A guard break reduction of 71. Let me. How many do I need for the, uh. Let's see. Upgrade for you. We need three more shards of Dragonstone and two more chunks of Dragonstone. Where can I find the book? Type upgrade path. The uh, dragon upgrades can be. Yep, 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 yep. Um, charge of dragon stones. Drop by the bear bug in the tunnel. Drop by large bear bug in tunnel. Drop by giant bear bug. Flying bear bug. Can be bought from the filthy man for 3,000 souls each in the tunnel city. Uh, chunks dropped by the large bear bug in the tunnel city. Pure dragon stone dropped by the giant bear bugs. Dropped by the dragon god. All right, so we already have one of those. Found on a corpse in the lava pit tunnel. Oh yeah, that's right. So those corpse. Remember those, uh, that lava pit down to the bottom where I was like, yeah, you're gonna need, like, uh, fire defense or whatever like that? Some of the corpses out there have items on them. One of the items is a, uh, pure dragonstone. Shards of dragonstones, however, I can buy for 3,000. But the chunks of dragonstones. Large bear bugs. Which one's the large bear bugs? The enemy demon souls, uh, bear bugs, flying bear bugs are about the same size. Relatives also include large bear bugs and giant bear bugs. Jump and body press, thrust, charging attack. All right, so. So he could sell them, but just not here. Yeah, no, he doesn't sell them here. You want to play? Nope. 
King Dordan. Uh, was it this archstone? I think it's this archstone. Yeah, the tunnel city. We can get some chunks and some shards. We can purchase the shards and we can... We just have to kill a bunch of them. They're kind of annoying to uh, fight. Down there, that ledge right there, that's where you'll find Skurver the Wanderer. Uh, he's an asshole. I'm just trying to get a better look because, again, I cannot jump in this game. I don't even know if this is worth it. I don't even remember what those items are. I kind of don't want to deal with that. But he's down there in that ledge. If you want to, if you want to go for it, go ahead. Again, I. I don't remember if in this game you can jump. Because see, I can run and I can't I can't jump. Maybe in Demon Souls you can and I'm just misremembering it. But uh You can find your way down there to that ledge. That's where Skurver the Wanderer is, and he shows up as a I think he shows up as a black phantom. If he doesn't, he shows up like a normal person, but he is uh, very aggressive. 
he will attack you. I don't I don't know what made him go crazy to attack. I don't know if there was an idea to give him more of a storyline or something, but it just doesn't work out. He's not a good person. Uh, he will try to uh, attack. I think he's armed with uh, a falchion or something like that. Alright, am I missing something? How do I bring this up? Isn't there a lever around here somewhere? There it is. What was over here again? Oh, he didn't drop anything? What a rip-off. Hey, 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 the hell is this? Where are you going? The hell is this? Where are you go? Yeah, where do you think you're going, huh? And again, there's a, a pit of these guys over there, but, uh, I would say it's best to go over there if you have, uh...
if you have, what do you call it, um, Firestorm, or uh, the that great white bow or whatever, and you could pick those guys off from a distance. So we're just essentially down here trying to collect uh, shards of gray stones and chunks of gray stone. I see items up there. Let me see something. So that's the floor above. I should be able to drop down there and there I don't know
God, this takes this takes such a long time. Is there like an easier way to kill these guys? Like, what the hell is this, man? Are these guys only dropping items like once a playthrough? Charge the Dragonstone. Yeah, he sells them all right for three thousand. <laughs> well, all right then. Come back when you actually need something.
I don't know if we're gonna get any more chunk stones. This sucks. Chars. I need chunks though. With and the problem is these damn bugs are so difficult to kill, man. Alright, so for Fireball, who teaches that? Was that a Sage Freak? So I think we'll go with Fireball. Let me see, what did... Did Yuria teach anything with it? Are you certain it? you would... It would are you sure? You have... Dragon... You have Firestorms. Well, so Dragon Storm, that's 100. We can only do it once. Generates a Storm Rally Caster. I owe my if it isn't You have your witch about so. Fireball Spell from Dragon So shoots a ball of fire that generates an explosion born from the dragon's bones soaked in lava this demon was the embodiment of the power inherent in the Colossal Flames. Okay, I think that's the one that we want. He has power. Bring me more. I... All right, we learned. We learned. Fireball. And is worth twenty. So we got a couple of uses out of it. I can. F Do 
Do come. Thou see then. Soul of the mind, key to life's ease. Alrighty. Um. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. We were looking at upgrading dexterity for the bow, right? Upgrade endurance to be honest. Art thou done? Mean that? Alright, we'll go ahead and call the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.